controlling high blood pressure also known as hypertension can be a major step in preventing heart disease. Common problems related to patient preparation and improper positioning often result in unreliable blood pressure readings. Misreading true blood pressure by even 5 mm of mercury has the potential to mislabel someone as having high blood pressure res resulting in medication the person doesn't need. It also can result in the opposite. Measuring your blood pressure at home can be a great way to monitor your health. However, it's easy to make mistakes that can lead to inaccurate readings. Today we have discussed the 11 most common mistakes people make when measuring their blood pressure and how to avoid them. Number one, using the wrong cuff size. The first common mistake is using the wrong cuff size. A cuff that's too small or too large can give inaccurate readings. Make sure to use a cuff that fits your arm correctly. An insufficiently sized cuff may cause a reading to be 2 to 10 points higher. Number two, measuring immediately after eating or drinking. Measuring your blood pressure immediately after eating or drinking can affect the results. Recent meals. Patients who eat shortly before a blood pressure measurement can exhibit decreased systolic and diastolic blood pressure according to a limited number of studies. It's best to wait for at least 30 minutes after consuming food or beverages before taking your measurement. Number three, not resting before measurement. Your blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day. Resting before measuring your blood pressure is crucial for obtaining accurate readings. When preparing for blood pressure measurement, it's essential to sit quietly for a few minutes in a comfortable and quiet environment. This period of rest allows the body to relax, leading to more accurate readings. The American Medical Association emphasizes the importance of 5 minute rest period before blood pressure measurement to ensure greater accuracy. Number 4 measuring the wrong time of the day not taking multiple readings. Blood pressure can vary so it's important to take multiple readings and average them for a more accurate result. Take at least 2 to 3 measurements 1 minute apart and use the average. Don't rely on just one readings. Ideally take 2 readings a minute apart at least twice a day morning and evening and track them over time. For consistency measure your blood pressure at the same time each day ideally in the morning before breakfast and any medications number five crossing your legs Crossing your legs can raise your blood pressure reading. Crossing legs means an extra 2 to 8 mm of mercury. It's best to uncross the legs and ensure feet are supported. Always sit with your feet flat on the floor and your back supported when measuring your blood pressure. Number 6. Placing the cuff over clothing. Placing the cuff over clothing can interfere with the accuracy of the readings. Putting the cuff over clothing rather than a bare arm can add 10 to 40 mm of mercury to a measurement. Make sure to place the cuff directly on your bear arm. Talking during measurement. Talking or being distracted during measurement can affect the reading. Talking or having a conversation including on the phone can add an additionally 10 to 15 millimeter of mercury. Staying still and silent during the exam will ensure an accurate measurement. Stay quiet and still during the measurement process for the most accurate results. Number 8. Incorrect arm position. Your arm should be at heart level when measuring your blood pressure. Failing to support the arm at heart level can add 10 mm mercury higher. Positioning the arm on a chair or counter will level the measurement cuff with the heart. If your arm is too high or too low, it can lead to incorrect readings. Number 9. Wrapping the cuff over clothing is a common error. The cuff needs to compress the artery in your arm to accurately measure the blood pressure. When the cuff is placed over clothing, the fabric creates a barrier. This barrier can prevent the cuff from applying the right amount of pressure directly on the artery. As a result, the cuff might need to apply more pressure to achieve a reading which can artificially inflate the number. Studies have shown that placing the cuff over clothing can add anywhere from 10 to 40 mm of mercury to your blood pressure measurement. The severity of the error can vary depending on the thickness and type of clothing. Generally, the thicker clothing like sweaters or jackets will cause a larger increase in the reading compared to thin clothing like t-shirts. Number 10. Full bladder can affect your blood pressure readings. A study published in the National Center for Biotechnology Information explored the impact of bladder distension on blood pressure in the middle age women. The findings revealed that systolic and diastolic blood pressure were higher when subjects had been holding urine for at least 3 hours since the last urination. Here's why this happens. When your bladder is full, it creates internal pressure in your abdomen. This pressure stimulates your nervous system causing a temporary increase in the blood pressure. A full bladder pressing on these vessels can make it harder for blood to flow smoothly. To compensate for this resistance, your heart has to work a little extra 
heart to pump blood. This extra effort by the heart translates to a temporary rise in blood pressure. Number 11, drooping or unsupported back or feet can increase a reading by 5 to 10 points. An unsupported back can increase measurement by 5 to 10 millimeter of mercury. The same range applies to feet left dangling from an exam table or high chair. The lack of support forces your body to engage additional muscles which can cause a temporary rise in blood pressure. Additionally, when your feet are not firmly planted on the ground, it can affect blood flow and circulation further contributing to an inaccurate readings. Remember, understanding these mistakes is the first step towards precise blood pressure monitoring. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious.